Meanwhile, Brazil is on fire this week, and it's not just because of the Olympics. Banco Santander's Brazilian unit is going public in what's expected to be the largest IPO of 2009, and it's not alone when it comes to billion-dollar debuts. Let's go back to the market's desk. Sheila Damarajan has been tracking the IPO beat. Sheila. Well, John, I have an even better statistic for you. Not only is it going to be the biggest IPO this year, but the 12th largest IPO since 2000. So a big week for IPOs. Now, Banco Santander is Spain's largest bank. And what they're doing to, is they're taking their Brazilian unit public. The deal is set to price tonight and will start trading tomorrow morning. A couple of stats about the deal. The first is they're looking to raise about $7.5 billion, which is 13.1 billion reais. And it's going to trade both on the Bovespa and the New York Stock Exchange. So it's going to trade as a unit of common and preferred stock on both exchanges. And if all goes as planned, it's going to be the largest IPO in Brazil. Now, Banco Santander, they started their bet on Brazilian banking all the way back in 2000 when they bought Sao Paulo State Bank. And the bet they're making is that as the Brazilian economy continues to grow, more people are going to get pushed into that middle class and the demand for banking services is going to grow. Now, Bloomberg analysts survey, they think that Brazil is going to grow 4.5% in its GDP in 2010. So potentially some nice growth in Brazil coming up. And if you look at the Bovespa, which is Brazil's benchmark index, up over 60% year to date. Now, when it comes to billion-dollar IPOs this week, Banco, Banco Santander is not alone. Verisk Analytics is also set to price tonight. They're a U.S.-based company. And what this company does is they aggregate actuarial data. So these are the guys who actually crunch the numbers for insurance companies about potential losses. A couple of stats about this deal is that they're looking to raise $1.7 billion. It's going to trade on the NASDAQ under the ticker VRSK. And an interesting point about this deal. The company is actually not going to keep any of the proceeds from the IPO. Instead, those proceeds are going to go to the owners. Who are those owners? Well, AIG, Hartford, and Travelers, to name a few. So a couple of nice, couple of nice uh, cash inputs for these companies coming up soon.